And it's as simple as that to make nice fresh biscuits right on top of your wood cook stove. Ooh, those are nice. Nice and hot, flaky. To start off, you're just gonna need two and a quarter cups of flour. We buy our flour in bulk. We usually get like 25 pounds or 50 pounds at a time. We buy it organic. It's the cheapest way to do it. Buying organic sometimes is a little bit more expensive, but if we, we find if we buy in bulk, we have better luck and we can afford it a lot easier. Then you're gonna need one tablespoon of baking powder and one tablespoon of sugar. Again, we use organic sugar. We just buy 25 pounds at a time, go to our local food co-op and they order it for us. I don't like putting a lot of salt in my baked goods, but I do put a little bit. I don't measure it out. I just usually put a couple of shakes in there. And then once you get all the ingredients in your bowl, just stir them all up, mix it up good. Next, you gotta cut in your butter. We're using six tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. I'm just gonna cut it into little pieces. The colder you have your butter, the better. You can use your hands for this, but if you have a pastry cutter, it works a lot easier. And you just wanna keep cutting it all together until it resembles a coarse crumbs. Then you're just gonna to wanna to make a well, add in half of your milk mixture, which is half a cup. Mix it up good. And then add the rest of the milk. Then you just wanna make sure you got a nice floured surface. Put your dough out on it. Keep some more flour right handy and just knead it about 15 to 20 times. This should help make them a little bit more flaky. We're gonna cook the biscuits right on top of our wood cook stove. We're not gonna put it in the oven. We're gonna use our cast iron skillet. Ours is enamel coated. You know, it's not just cast iron. All of our other cast iron skillets don't have lids, so if you have a cast iron skillet and you don't have a lid, just find a lid from something else, or you could use a regular pan. It doesn't have to be cast iron. It'll just make it taste a little better. Once you got it all kneaded, just go flour it one more time and grab your rolling pin. You got it all rolled out to the thickness you want, about half inch, three eighths of an inch thick. You gotta need a pastry cutter. I don't have a pastry cutter here, and if you don't, no big deal. I'm just gonna use a ball jar lid, <clears throat> and if you don't have one of those, just find a cup that you like the size. You don't need to have to have a fancy tool. And then just cut your biscuits out. The ball lid actually works really slick. Take them out, set them aside for now. And we'll just take the rest of this dough, roll it back out and get a few more biscuits out of it. Don't wanna waste it. And then whatever we can't get biscuits out of, we'll feed it to the chickens, turn it into eggs. We just keep a bowl around the house and throughout the day we put all of our scrap foods in it and every, once or twice a day we'll go out and we'll give it to the chickens. That's another great thing about having chickens. I'll put a couple more pieces of wood in the fire. Get the fire going good. I'm gonna leave this on the stove for a few minutes, let it get up to temp, and then we'll come right back and we'll add our biscuits and a little bit of butter to it. All right, now that we got the pan warmed up a little bit, we're just gonna take the lid off. 
just gonna add in a couple of spoonfuls of Kerrygold butter. We'll let it melt a little bit. Friday night we usually do dinner for supper since we have chickens here and we always have so many eggs. So we usually try to switch it up. Tonight's gonna be homemade biscuits with sausage milk gravy. Once they're cooked about halfway through, they're nice and brown on the bottom, flip them over. These things smell so good. Awesome. These are looking nice. They're golden brown on the bottom. The top, I flipped it over, let it cook for a few minutes. They got a nice brown. They've cooked up nice. Whew, hot. It's gonna make a nice biscuit to go with our sausage milk gravy tonight. It's a nice, easy recipe. The time's gonna vary for you on how long it takes you to cook them, depending on how hot your wood cook stove is. But it took me about a half an hour to do it, not too bad. Let me know what you think about the recipe. Leave a comment down below. Give a thumbs up while you're down there. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.